Praise the Lord, everyone. It's time for Tuesday morning prayer and devotion. I have praise reports to share with you this morning, some updates, especially regarding those who are battling COVID. And so we'll get right into that this morning. Uh, my cousin Robbie Northrup shared a powerful praise report uh, yesterday that last year he was going to the ER once a month for his COPD and each time they would end up keeping him in the hospital for treatment and stabilization. Yesterday was the first time that he's been to the hospital since January the 18th, which was brought on by COVID, uh, not COPD. And although, of course, he's not happy uh, that he has uh, COVID, they did not have to keep him in the hospital. And so he's still claiming victory over COPD and believing God for his healing from COVID today. Brother Brad Robinson uh, did not have to be admitted to the hospital after being taken to the ER again. He was sent home on oxygen and he does seem to be heading in the right direction. Sister Robinson is still in the hospital and is now on three liters of oxygen. And we ask that you please pray that she will continue to respond well to treatment. Uh, the Robinson son-in-law, Pastor Lance Wicket, is responding well to medication. As I reported to you yesterday, he did have a pneumonia, uh, but he is recovering at home, as is his wife, Michelle, and the rest of their family is doing well. Uh, we have several other COVID requests. Cheryl Chance's friends, Pam and Bill, Marty DeLotte's sister, Genevieve, uh, Tabitha Quick, Charlene Lovell, Evangelist Scott and Jody Smith, uh, all of those, I believe, are responding and recovering. Uh, and then Brother Virgil Marshbank's son, Don, the last word we had on him was that he had been on a ventilator due to COVID. Uh, we continue to pray for Sarah, uh, the apostolic believer in a Muslim country uh, who is dealing with the Delta strain of COVID. She is now recovering from COVID at home. And she asked that we pray for not only her, but for her country, as more than 50 people have died in the past week in her village alone. And uh, I do not know the name of the country, and that is the nature of these uh, things when we're talking about apostolic believers in Muslim areas. We have to uh, keep those details uh, under wraps. Uh, others who have lung and respiratory problems that are not uh, due to covid Rue needs a double lung retransplant. Kendra Ortiz has COPD, and Bonnie Pulaski has been dealing with difficulty breathing. Don Williams is having uh, problems with bursitis, and I see a request here from uh, Kristen asking us to pray for her cousin's preemie baby. Was born uh, weighing two pounds and six ounces yesterday, but the child is stable and uh, doing well so we thank the lord for that praise report and prayer request combination there pastor mickey lewis is facing surgery for a basal cell carcinoma uh, under his left eye we have many others who are battling cancer uh, we pray daily for dell and regina bishop and unfortunately dell has been found to have widespread widespread cancer so we need to pray for him in that regard today jerry williams josh soberg anthony trimble Kathy Bloss, Philip Randall, Michael Boland, Alicia Piero, Lisa Workman, Lydia, Dwayne Lewis, a friend of Terry Adams, Diane Escher, Kim Stinson, Dennis Phelps, Christy Smith, David Harris, Claire, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, John Fitzgerald, Versi Gibbs, Sylvia Larimore, Brother Kirk, Ari Bowers, Edie Percival, Kathy Burks, Robert Wicks, and children, Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, all uh, battling cancer today. Other children needing prayer, let's continue to pray for Mary uh, Mitchell's grandson, Logan, uh, who has been battling an infection, Abel Ray with PKU syndrome, Tano Lopez with spina bifida, baby Elsie with uh, heart issues, baby Brantley with heart issues, and Abram Page with GNA01 disorder. In our um, other request today, um, Caitlin has had pregnancy issues and uh, baby Morin, I don't know, maybe this is the request that um, Kristen was posting that the child has been born, but let's um, 
if Kristen, if you can give us an update on that and tell us the actual, if this is the same case. But we're praying for these uh, situations today. Uh, J.R. Johnson, Christian Carr, Brother and Sister Dornbach, son, Terry Adams, friend Marsha, Tim Workman, Emily Stanley, Cheryl Lachance, Brother Pulliam, and myself, uh, all dealing with diabetes. And I do have some lab work today, uh, so I'd appreciate your prayers for that. Uh, Jim Connors awaiting a kidney transplant. Lee Young, Jen Marlin, Aubrey and Loren all have kidney problems. Brother Virgil Pulliam's brother needs healing of his kidneys, as well as healing of cirrhosis of the liver and pancreatitis. Jamie Jo Shepard needs prayer for healing of her liver. Uh, Olivia, Terry Adams, Aubrey all needing healing of stomach issues. Kenny Prenzel and Cheryl Lachance need healing of their heart and Cheryl is having problems with her lungs as well. Brother Marty DeLott and Brother Riley March need healing of MS. Tim Workman, my mother-in-law Beulah Ziegler, Russ and my dad Ron Bryant all need healing of Parkinson's disease. Gerald Hudson, Lana Taylor and Leslie Pride have dementia. We have several with back issues including Pam Pulliam's daughter Jenny, Carol Dixon's pastor, James Graham, Tammy Lawson, Michael Parrott, Terry Adams, and Britt Moore. Renee needs continued prayer for uh, touching her hip and knees, and she's struggling to maintain mobility. Marsha Moore's cousin is having sinus surgery this week. Jean Brightwell has a small aneurysm behind her nasal cavity and also suffers with arthritis and disc inflammation. Others with physical needs today, let's remember uh, Sister Elaine Castro, uh, from Bernie, she's in the hospital and is very weak. Others who have physical needs include Meredith, Bobby Larmy, Jimmy Holden, Chloe, Nicole, Marsha Moore, uh, Regina Bishop, Shirley Garner, Judy Williams' sister Mary, and Judy's daughter Jennifer, and brother and sister Pulliam's granddaughter Morgan. We have several with uh, who are continuing to recover. Dwayne Moore from colon surgery. Sister Shute's father and Sister Arnold both recovering from heart surgery. Carmen's friend Jamie recovering from an auto accident and needing prayer for financial issues due to being off of work after that accident. Brother Martin Ballestero, Gary and Dorinda Shepherd uh, still recovering. Judy Williams' mother recovering from uh, several surgical procedures. Michael Turner uh, recovering from heart surgery. Terry Barber had quintuple bypass and is not doing well at all. He is in, uh, back in the hospital, and we need to pray for him today uh, as he now has congestive heart failure. Lane Reasons, recovering from a fractured pelvis. Carmen's cousin, Shannon, recovering from stroke, and John Vaughn's son, Dylan, recovering from injuries sustained in a motorcycle accident. Donna Luttrell and J.B. Goforth are under hospice care. We have many family needs today. We're praying for Grace's Best Friends family, James and Angela Graham and their family, the Vaughn family, Debbie Biddick's family, Annette and Dave, and Alicia and her husband all needing healing in their marriage, the Stewart family, brother and sister Woody's family, Alicia's husband needs salvation. We need to pray for brother Ron Buford uh, as he needs continued prayers for strength today. Uh, we need to pray for brother Mark Tipton as he continues homeless ministry in the Huntsville, Alabama area. And today I ask you to pray with me for the Beak family, actually uh, two separate households, John and Susan, James and Mary, who are missionaries to the United Kingdom. In our spiritual needs today, let's remember Cheryl's family member, our Job Corps students and alumni, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Caroline Sexton's family, Pam Pulliam's children, Carmen's daughter, Grace, Barbara Owens, Josiah, Terry Adams' children, Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, Judy's brother, Lewis, Mark and Caitlin, Beulah's family, Art Chandler, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Haley, Connor, Carl, Evie, Rose, all needing salvation, Lori's mother, Tasha's husband and sister, Charles and Amber Gossett. Uh, Charles needs salvation and needs deliverance from addiction, and we have several others in that state as well. Josh, Jamie, Dan, Dalton, and Dylan, and Missy Ricker, who needs deliverance from depression and anxiety, 
and Nathan needing deliverance from depression. We have a lot to pray about this morning. I want to take a moment and welcome each of you. Sister Pam, good to have you with us today. And um, Sister Marcia, Judy, Sherman, Carmen, if I haven't mentioned you already, I get kind of lost in some of these and seeing the prayer request as well. Uh, Kristen, of course, with us today. Uh, Anthony, good to see you again this morning. And I so appreciate those of you that throw up those prayer hands or some kind of comment or something because it lets me know that you're there. Brother Ron, good to have you with us this morning. What a great uh, prayer group today. And we're praising God for uh, this child uh, that was born premature being stable. And uh, Carmen says, Caitlin's baby is stable and doing well in utero. No further issues identified. So we're thankful for that praise report this morning as well. Amen. God bless you for being a part of prayer ministry today. And uh, I feel like this morning that I could, uh, as the old song we used to sing many years ago, and I found myself uh, singing it yesterday in the shower, I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. And I do believe that is based in uh, scripture. And it was the feeling of the psalmist, that nothing is going to stop or deter me uh, from doing uh, what God has called me to do. And today I'm celebrating, this is actually my birthday today, and I have that uh, feeling that I could do anything today because I was reading uh, some things in the Talmud, which is a collection of ancient writings, uh, by Jewish rabbis that contain their philosophy and history and um, and laws. And, and I came across something in that that said that uh, when the Amalekites attacked Israel, the leaders of the Israelite army would choose uh, people to send into battle or to put on the front lines uh, whose birthday happened to be on the day of battle. And they did that because they believed that a person's birthday was a lucky day and that nothing bad was going to happen to them on their birthday. And I chuckle because I know that bad things can happen anytime. But yet, understanding today that God knew us before we were even formed in the womb and brought us into this world and has a plan for our life. And, um, and I, so I feel today like, go ahead, send me into the battle uh, I know God's hand is upon uh, my life today. But you know what? Uh, not only do I have my birthday today, but I have another birthday. My spiritual birthday is April the 1st, 1982, I believe, whenever God filled me with the Holy Ghost. And, um, and I have dual citizenship. I was fortunate enough on July the 27th, 1973, to be born in the United States of America. I was privileged to be able to be born into this uh, country, a citizen of the United States of America. But I'm not only a citizen of the United States, I have dual citizenship because on April the 1st, 1982, I became a citizen of heaven. And in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19, Paul said, Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, and of the household of God. I just want to give God thanks today that I have this belonging in the fellowship of believers. I'm a citizen along with all of you. I know we have some people uh, that watch uh, this broadcast. Mustafa uh, watches this broadcast from a, another country, and there are others that tune in at times. I've had birthday wishes this morning from people in Israel and in other uh, nations that uh, are part of uh, this ministry uh, through uh, video, through these broadcasts. And um, I'm thankful today that I'm not just a citizen here, but I'm a citizen along with you of a place uh, that will never pass away, a place that we're going to share eternity together. And that is far more important than any earthly ties that we might have. Aren't you glad that you know the Lord today, that he found you, that you were 
uh, born again of the water and of the spirit because that's how you get into this this kingdom and how you become a citizen of heaven i'm thankful that i've been baptized in the precious name of the lord and i've been filled with his spirit that one day i saw my need to repent of my sins and saw my need for this heavenly citizenship i thank god for that today let's thank him together lord we thank you today lord that we have a place that's not made with hands eternal in the heavens that you've made for us we thank you god that we're no longer strangers aliens outcasts but we are a part of your heavenly kingdom that you have prepared for us and we give you praise for it today and we know god that even now we have special privileges and benefits being a part of your kingdom and we pray today get, that you would help us to exercise our rights as citizens of heaven. One of those rights is our opportunity to come into your throne room of grace today, to come boldly with our petitions. And so we come today trusting in you. We come submitting ourselves as your subjects. Uh, we're loyal, God, to your government today, of which there will be no end. And we're praying your kingdom come, your will be done in the whole earth today even as it is in our lives and even as it is in heaven. We pray today for all these, God, who are battling with COVID issues right now. Lord, you are their healer. You are the supplier of every need. I pray that your virtue would flow right now, that oxygen needs would be decreased, that pneumonia would begin to break up and congestion in the lungs would dissipate, that infection would leave their bodies right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, whether they're in this nation or other areas that are struggling right now with the Delta variant, we pray, God, that this plague would be stayed once again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, for others with lung problems today that are not related to COVID, that they would receive their healing touch right now. We pray for Don Williams today as he's struggling with bursitis. God, we believe for healing for him healing for Brother Mickey Lewis today of this basal cell carcinoma. We pray for all those who are battling cancer this morning. We pray for Del Bishop and for Jerry Williams, for Brother Anthony Trimble, for Josh Soberg. We lift up Kathy Bloss today and Philip Randall. We pray for Michael Bolin and Alicia Piero. We pray for Lisa and Lydia, for Dwayne Lewis, for Terry's friend, for Diane Escher and Kim Stinson. We lift up Dennis Phelps this morning and Christy Smith. We pray, Lord, for David Harris and Claire, for Marshall's friends, grandparents, for John Fitzgerald, for Versi Gibbs and Sylvia Laramore, for Brother Kirk and Ari Bowers, for Edie Percival and Kathy Burks and Robert Wicks. Lord, none of these situations are too hard for you. You are well able, hallelujah, to save, to deliver to heal today. We pray for Lorelei and Tucker and Jenna, Lord, that they would respond well to their treatments. We pray for Mary's grandson, Logan, for Abel, for Tano, for baby Elsie and baby Brantley and Abram. Lord, these children today need your intervention. We know, God, that they've only made it this far. They've only received the strength that they have right now because of your grace, because of your provision. We believe for them to be made completely whole today. Hallelujah. We pray today, God, Lord, for these children, for uh, Caitlin's baby. We thank you, God, that this baby is doing well. No more complications going on. Hallelujah. We pray for baby Morin today. We thank you, God, for your touch upon that child. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those that are dealing with diabetes today, that each and every one of them, regardless of whether it's type 1 or type 2, Lord, that they would receive a healing touch even right now as we pray. We pray in faith. We believe your word. With your stripes, we are healed in the name of Jesus. We pray for those with kidney problems today. Hallelujah. Let the kidneys begin to function uh, properly right now in Jesus' name. We pray for Brother Pulliam's brother for healing not only of his kidneys, but of his liver and of his pancreas. For Jamie Jo, that she would receive healing today of her liver. We pray for those with stomach issues, Olivia and Terry and Aubrey, those with heart issues, Kenny and Cheryl today. We pray for Cheryl's problem with her lungs, for Brother March and Brother DeLott, for victory over 
MS. Uh, we pray, God, today for Tim Workman and for my mother-in-law, for my dad, for Russ today, for healing of Parkinson's. Uh, we believe, God, for a touch today for Gerald and Leslie and Lana as they are suffering with dementia. Strengthen their families today. Give them direction, Lord, and how to best help their loved one that's suffering. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for those with back issues today. Lord, he would reach down and minister healing right now. Let the pain leave their body. Let Renee's pain leave her hips and her knees right now. Let there be increased strength. We pray for Marcia's cousin, Lord, uh, having sinus surgery this week. For Jean Brightwell, we pray against this arthritis and disc inflammation and this aneurysm that she's dealing with today. We pray for Sister Elaine Castro, God, that her strength would be restored, that she would be able to be discharged from the hospital. Every other physical need today, God, we bring to you, trusting in you, believing, God, for Meredith and for Jimmy Holden, for Bobby Larmy and Chloe, and for Marcia and Nicole. We thank you, God, for your touch upon Regina today and Shirley, for Judy's sister Mary, and for her daughter Jennifer, for Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughter Morgan. Hallelujah. You are our healer. Oh, we pray for continued recovery today for Dwayne, for Sister Arnold and Sister Schutz, for Carmen's friend Jamie, for Brother Ballestero, for Gary and Dorinda, for Judy's mother, for Michael Turner, for Carmen's cousin Shannon, and for John's son Dylan today. We pray for Brother Terry Barber, Lord. You see this dire circumstance today. We pray you would strengthen his family and that you would minister healing touch right now to him in that hospital. Hallelujah. We pray for Donna Luttrell and J.B. Goforth under hospice care right now. But, Lord, you are able. Hallelujah. We trust in you today. We wait upon you. We desire your answers today, God. You know what is best for us. We pray for those family needs that are ongoing right now. We pray for James and Angela and their family, for Grace's best friend's family, for the Vaughn family today. We believe for a breakthrough in that situation. God, we pray for Debbie's family, for her daughters today, for Annette and Dave, that they would receive healing for their marriage. We pray for Alicia and her husband, for salvation in that home, for healing of their marriage. Hallelujah. We pray for the Stewart family and for the Woody family today. We lift up our brother, Ron Buford, today. God, praying for your strength for him today. Hallelujah. Encourage him. Minister, Lord, to him in his grief today. Hallelujah. We pray for Brother Tipton, Lord, that you would bless the homeless ministry that he's involved in. Oh, God, give him favor today. We pray for the Beak families in the United Kingdom today as they're ministering the gospel. Lord, let your hand be upon them, upon these precious missionaries. Every spiritual need is important to you today. You see Charles and Amber Gossett. You see Charles' need for salvation, for deliverance from addiction. You see the need for deliverance from drug addiction for Josh and Jamie and Dan, for Dylan and Dalton. We pray for Missy today to be delivered from depression and anxiety, for Nathan's deliverance from depression. Lord, heal our minds today. Touch those who are wounded in their spirit. Every other spiritual need, whether it be for salvation, Lord, for healing of past hurts, for victory over hang-ups today, God, and over addictions. We pray, God, that you would help and that you would strengthen, that you would minister to the emotional and spiritual and mental needs uh, that people are battling with today. God, we pray for Cheryl's family, for our Job Corps students, for Jennifer and Brenda's family. We lift up Caroline's family. We pray for Pam's children, for Carmen's daughter, for Barbara, for Josiah, for Sister Terry's children. We pray for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, and for Judy's brother, Lewis. We're believing for salvation, Lord, for them today, for Mark and Caitlin, for Beulah's family, for Art Chandler, for Marcia's children and granddaughter. We believe, God, today for your touch upon them. We pray for Haley and Evie, for Rose and Carl and Connor, for their salvation. We believe for Lori's mother to be restored, to be reconciled to family, to be reconciled uh, in her walk with you, God. We pray for Tasha's husband this morning, for her sister, for Peggy and her family. We lift up Charles and Amber right now 
In Jesus' name, Lord, you've seen every need. You know every situation. And we believe, God, and trust in your name today. We don't trust in the, our own strength. We know that we're limited today, and we're so weak and helpless without you. But, God, you are with us, and we thank you, God, for your help. We look to you today. We look up today, knowing that that's where our redemption is and where our answers come from. We give you the praise and the glory for this work that only you can do in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray these things. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of our prayer team. I look forward to praying with you again tomorrow morning, uh, bright and early at 7.30 a.m. right here on Facebook Live. I will see you then. Have a blessed day.